Hey guys, how's it going? Today we've got another really cool horn battle. So this one's going to be kind of special because I'm doing three. Um, what I've got here in front of me are X MBTA horns. Uh, they are all Nathan Airchild K5LAs and they all came off of an MBTA X uh, F40. So with these horns, I've got kind of oldest to most recent in line here. First, we've got a 80s wide font K5LA. It's all 80s bells. There is, a, I think there is a couple narrow font back caps on this, but I think they're original. So this was close to like a transition era, or it could be a transition era. It just got mixed back caps. This horn is 1027's horn. Uh, it is a mixed uh, transition era K5LA. 80s bells, all narrow font back caps. This horn right here is going to be 90s bells, um, non-raised letter. It is 1059 is the unit it came off of, and it has a round tag. So both of these are tagless. This has a round tag. Um, I'm not sure on the date. I would say like early 2000s is what I'm thinking for this horn, uh, but it sounds really good. So I think like maybe two, like 2004, 2005, because I know that that was at 1059, it got a new horn. Uh, I think it went in for a refit because that F40 was originally built, I believe, in like 87. I could be wrong on that, but it's the late 80s. So it probably originally had a wide font horn, but uh, this, I guess, is probably its second horn. So anyway, all those engines have gone back in for another refit, or they've been scrapped, I'm not really sure. I do have the number boards for 1059 and then 1027. And like I said, this is 1034. I don't have the number board for it. Uh, but anyway, all three horns work great. They sound great. Uh, they're in really good shape. They're just very dirty. That's why I have my gloves on. Um, I guess that's about it. I'll have each, you know, I have each individual video for each one of these horns if you want to know more about them, so you can go check those out. Um, I'll, like I said, I'm doing these three horns, so my horn rig I have, it'll only do two, so I have one of these up on the rack on my truck. So anyway, stick around for the run-by videos of these two at the end of the video. They all sound really good, but they all sound different. So anyway, I appreciate it, guys. Y'all enjoy this. This is the MBTA K5LA comparison. All right, guys, so I figured I'd show you how I got this set up real quick since my horn rig can only do two horns at a time. Uh, right here, we've got 1034 sitting, uh, so that's 1034. And then this is actually 1027 sitting here. Uh, and I don't think y'all have really seen this horn rig up close. Uh, it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward and simple, but it's got my main air and valve that goes in and I can just switch right here. And then also last we've got 1059 up on the truck. So there it is. So that's how I'm blowing all three of these at once. Now with the um, comparison here you're getting ready to see, I am using this manual valve on my truck. And there is some line in between it and the horn, whereas over here, there's really no line hardly between the horns. So that horn right there doesn't quill as well just because of that space that's in between the valve and the line. So you'll notice that. But other than that, uh, it's, uh, this is as close as we can get. So we can quill these a little better. But anyway, y'all enjoy this?